Hi there guys, today I want to talk to you about um, um, I'm using a controller like this, a Devo 7E, um, to um, play um, simulators. Um, and there's a various amounts of simulators coming out now, and simulators are really good for for uh, you know just just getting the basics down and, and and flying around and it's even fun for the kids and whatever without you know too much cost um, involved so uh, I'm going to show you on this Devo 7 uh, 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 E over here um, and I flashed this guy and there's many tutorials on on flashing this guy but this one has been flashed uh, a software but be as it may it's pretty hackable this controller as it stands is about 50 bucks for the controller and um, you know I fly all my little ultra micros on it it's this one's a mode 2 and it's really great um, to get started I got this um, kit from Amazon and I'll and I'll show it um, you know in, in uh, um, the link below and it really is uh, pretty cheap it's a very cheap little, um, uh, um, uh, uh, let's call it a PPM to USB converter. So that converts what comes out of a radio to USB and there's a little driver you need to install and um, you know it works on uh, Mac and Windows. The software, you know the site they say on here doesn't work for anymore but it's typically that CP21 uh, a driver. I'll try and put a link to it that you need to install on your uh, Mac or on your PC to get it going. So um, basically what that looks like is uh, like this. It's a USB and on this side it's a little um, a, a DIN plug or, or whatever. So on the back of a radio like this um, there's usually a DSC over here. You can open that up on this specific radio and you plug it in there like such and this side goes into USB let me put it on there so we can easily see so let me try and zoom in there to see how we're gonna make this work okay so like we said um, on this guy I'm just gonna go to a model here and uh, I will create a new uh, go to my model menu model setup and I'm going to go to uh, loading a model that I haven't used before and I'm just going to use uh, in this case model number 12 the first thing I'm going to go do to get this ready in this specific software we'll see it says Devo over here and I'm going to change that and this radio supports many types of uh, uh, protocols after it's been flashed but I'm going to go to PPM I'm going to say fine and I'm going to go to reinit. I'm going to hit that and um, it should now be um, you should now be able to see it on the on the uh, um, on the software and, and through the USB. Okay as you enter FPV Freerider of course you're going to see that um you know, there's a calibrate controller over here and I'm gonna go in there and you'll see that um, you know um, these values are are not good they, they're not centered at all even though I center my sticks those aren't centered so I'm gonna go to that center PW and I'm gonna up it a bit till about uh, 1300 is, a, is about a good value and you'll see that um, that's why I've just moved the center and I've moved it up so everything is now centered and in the middle okay so um, but if I move my sticks you'll also see that it moves only a little bit and that's where the delta comes into play and I can up that one till maximum I put it about 700 and now you'll see the sticks actually have a much better uh, throw on them or a, a much b b bigger movement so I'm gonna move this one it says there then it says move that stick up then it says move this stick to the left which I'm doing and move uh, the pitch up and there they are so we're ready to go um, flying now so uh, uh, devices now um, the radio is now uh, configured it's via the USB 
um, it's in there and so if I go to something like this and uh, so let me just take off there and there you can see I have full control I can even do a roll and it's absolutely working I am not a great pilot uh, at this at any means it takes a little bit of practice but it does work oops well that's what I wanted to show you um, of course this works in many other software um, once it's configured like this let me swap over to um, uh, the steam game uh, um, and um, let's have a look at that quickly <laughs> Here I am going into the, the Steam um, version of the game um, and it's liftoff and um, you know and, and here um, is another of course another uh, um, uh, simulator and um, but um, you know and here if you go to controls and I go to uh, controller um, I can of course set this up in here as well and make it work so we'll see that at the moment I have full control of a quad there but it is not you know exactly uh, trimmed so I can either trim that with my uh, uh, trim buttons but you'll see that that is a bit of an issue so um, uh, um, you can actually use um, if, if you're gonna go in here um, you can um, make it work so uh, um, you know so we c uh, let's just do a, a, a manual calibration it's gonna go and say um, calibrate uh, first of all rotate all the joysticks to all the maximum points which I'm doing at the moment and then it says um, uh, set the throttle and I'm gonna and we can see that it's swapped around uh, at the moment and I can change that on the controller the direction but um, there's the, the throttle um, then I'm gonna set my yaw and there's that and my yaw is set and then I'm gonna set my pitch um, let's set the pitch over here there we go and then I'm gonna set my roll and that's this guy over here okay next and um, I say it's a mo2 and I say next and I just call it whatever I want and um, I'm gonna say it's a mo2 and I'm gonna save it oops uh, test just give it a description there it is and I've saved it and um, you can now see that I can fly the little quad even in this game let me uh, just um, uh, change the direction and that's done in the uh, the mixer so you will just go into my throttle at the moment and that's channel um, channel 3 throttle um, I'm just going to reverse that and there we go and uh, so you might as well just create another profile for this but there it is I'm gonna go back I'm going to go save and exit and now I can actually go into and uh, play the little game. So let me just um, fly around the, the straw bales over here. And there, there we can see uh, putting my little goggles on and I'm ready. And I'm up again not, not saying that I'm uh, any good at this but you get the idea we try and do a yeah There we go. 
Well, so guys, there is uh, the final then. I, I think, um, um, I hope you get this to work. I think it's fairly simple. It's very inexpensive. You're talking about um, less than, you know, 60 or 70 bucks, maybe, maybe 80 bucks. You are have a full simulator with liftoff or with um, um, FPV free rider. You have a controller you can use on your actual micro quad or ultra micro and um, you've got a um, ppm to usb link and i'll put those details on here and um, happy flying